hey guys so this is a part continuation of the tutorial where i've actually stopped and a lot of people have asked me if i can use uh, clear zoom or the digital zoom option on the sony alpha 6500 and i actually completely forgot about it and today is the day where, where i thought and i got a time to actually resume it and do the continuation of it so let's actually start uh, doing it right now and i'll show you how you can attain the same settings using any manual lens on your sony alpha 6500 so in this setup right now i'm using the rockinon 40 millimeter f2.8 lens which is completely a manual lens as you guys know and it's actually mounted with the sigma mc11 adapter and yeah everything is on the auto setting right now so let's proceed further and see the same setup with this lens and see how it performs so to do that just turn on your camera go to the menu setting and go to the second page menu and under the fifth page you have this option so right now it's actually set to the optical zoom only and you can change it to digital let's go and you have two options here on clear image zoom this is basically retains the image uh, and it doesn't lose the quality of the image whereas the digital zoom will be losing obviously because you're actually zooming in using digitally so let's go to the clear image option and so as soon as you go here you have to just go to the above page and use this cursor to rotate to zoom in so let's actually zoom in and we have the image right now let's actually manually focus on the object so that we get the grids correctly aligned okay the focus peaking is on and i think that's the max that i can go on this lens yep so let's take a photo boom and let's actually go this and review it okay so that's how it looks and you can also use the digital zoom option but i don't prefer using that because it actually zooms in much more in together of the image so that uh, it actually zooms in a lot and it loses the quality of the image so you must always use this option if you're planning to use a manual lens and use the zoom feature so you can go up to 2x as i've shown you in the previous video and you can go up to 4 on the digital zoom but i don't prefer using that that option so this was it and a guy was uh, repeatedly asking me whether he can do a custom function button on this option and i actually tried but unfortunately uh, there's a slight bit of problem because if you use that option you may not get the same you know zoom in zoom out functionality but you can still go to that page and do the rest of the changes either using the custom function button so let's actually see that right now and see if that question or if that requirement can be fulfilled okay so i think we have it here custom key so the custom button one basically silence the uh, the shooting mode so i wanted to remove it because it's not working as expected and let's see if we can set that option here focus focus standard quality image size aspect ratio drive mode self bracket memory mode i guess so so we have all of the functions but i don't think we have Okay, the zoom option is here so let's actually assign it to that and see if we can yes so it is there so but the thing is I think you have to actually 
set it in this page itself as to what option you want it and as soon as you go back here and if you press this button so we have digital zoom enabled right now so that's actually pretty good uh, that you can customize it directly to you know on a custom button and still use that same functionality right away from there but the thing is you actually have to set that option already i mean which default zoom option you wanted to go with and then customize your functionality so i did it on the c1 function button so if you see right there uh, that's the button where i've customized it and as soon as i press it it directly goes to that option and i can change the setting from there i mean i can just use this ring or the circle button to control the zoom in and zoom out functionality using a manual lens so that's actually a pretty good achievement uh, if, you're, if you're sticked or constrained to a manual lens and if you wanted to use the functionality of zoom on it obviously you can do that and with this option i think if i'm getting into two two times crop two times uh, zoom factor then probably i think it's almost like uh, 50 50 approximately 45 to 40 uh, focal length so that's actually pretty good achievement using a manual lens and with that option i hope it retains the quality of the image i haven't tested this functionality a lot of times but probably i may do it sometime in the future and then tell you guys what would the, what would the results be like so i hope you have liked this uh, small test uh, and the questions which were generally asked to me on the previous video uh, so with that i would just like to end this video guys i hope you have liked this video please do subscribe to my channel and leave in on your questions or feedback i will definitely try to answer them for now take care